Um, what up, Solar Renekton only here, back to with some more League of Legends action. We're playing some Malawi up in the top lane. I got a build I took from Dirty Mobs, the number one Malawi on the North American server. Maybe the world, I don't know if other servers even play Malawi. <laughs> but yeah, I like Dirty Mobs a lot. He actually makes content too, so if you want to check out, I know he streams, I think he does YouTube as well. So check out Dirty Mobs. Uh, but yeah, he's really good. I picked up Malawi, watched some of his guides back, what, last season I really started spamming Malawi. I sold the number one slot on one of my accounts. I mean, it's kind of BS because he was number one playing in like Challenger and I was number one doing an unranked account to Diamond 1. <laughs> so not the same comparison. But I got pretty good with Alawi and I just played his build last game. And I think it's really good. So it's Glacial Augment. Ooh. Oh my God, he gets slapped. So it's a Glacial Augment and uh, Approaching Velocity combo. So we slow them and we increase our own movement speed. And then we're also going for... Uh, wow, I missed three right there. That kind of sucked. And we're also going for uh, Stride Breaker, which is another slow. So we'll be like perma sped up. Because anytime we slow somebody, we gain 15% movement speed from Approaching Velocity. Oh my god, that aim was doo-doo. I thought I could sneak it in. Oh my god, I'm slapping him. The nice thing about the W hit that I'm just figuring out right now is they can't really chase you afterwards, right? Like I W and then I just move away immediately. If he's not moving forward and autoing me like right away, he's not going to be able to hit me at all. Because he gets slowed and then I'm out of, out of the range. So like he can no longer auto me. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Alright, Pete, my friend. I mean, you're going to run into Camille, I think. Ooh, there. Cool. Uh, he also does Q Max. But yeah, Stride Breaker into typically Steric Gauge second, but it can also be Death Dance. It could also be uh, Thorn Mail if you had to get a Bramble early, and it can also be Visage if you're against uh, heavy magic damage. So a lot of options. Pop this last potion, spawn this tentacle up on the wall, try and shove this wave in. Actually, end up dodging that by jumping on him. Bro, I gotta hit those, man. Oof. Oh my god. Destruction. I can spawn another tentacle. Oh, I put a point in E. Whoops. That'll do. Walk out of time range. Good. I might just reset here. Teleport back and just keep pressure up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Get my mana and just teleport. Normally I wouldn't teleport back to this wave because it's slow pushing toward me, but I just wanna keep the pressure up on this guy. I'm gonna TP, let me get this pink ward. Spawn up another tentacle on the side here. Start getting this wave shoved in. I'm cool with that. Okay, they go ham trying to fight for the uh, tentacle. She probably thought she was okay because there's a giant wave, but dude, I'm a Lowy. I just spent a bunch of gold. I'm huge. Easy peasy. Red buff still, that W power. Oof, I love it. Get this wave shoved. Oh, whoops. Make sure we get that. We. I can leave after this. Beautiful. Nice. I'm in a great spot right now. Uh, grabbing this. Oh, can you get spicy? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Allowy. Ooh. Oh god. Um That was not good. <laughs> um 
I can actually wait here. This wave's like super pushing back to me. I want to get boots, but I don't want to go. I can buy them right now, but I would go 50 gold in debt when I could just wait like 10 gold, 15 gold. And I have a wave that's in a good position for me, so it's not really worth going into debt. You have futures market, so you can go up to 175 in debt. So I can go negative 175. It's really good for completing like major items and stuff a little earlier than you typically would, like a wave, potentially two waves before you could normally do it. But if you do use that debt, you have to spend 50 additional gold. Which is not really worth it for like boots in that situation. I like to use it for like major completions. Oh my god, dude. This champion. Oh! Oh my god. Champion's so OP, but I still can't kill it. I just pressed the one key, so I'm really happy this is not activated yet. <laughs> Uh, really want to spawn this tentacle far up. Oh my god, bro. Just gorgeous. It's really dumb to walk up and try and kill it like he did because if I W, even if it dies, it still does a W slam. Boom. Out of tower range. Yeah, <laughs> I played this matchup so many times because when I was spamming Alawi, um, Camille was like the most popular top laner. So I just happened to play this matchup a million times. I think I'm very good at it. I don't even think it's necessarily a counter pick for Alawi or anything. I, I think it's actually Camille favored on U.GG. I'm 100% sure you can fact check me on that. It's at least relatively even. I think it's Camille favored, but I don't know. I'm very good at it that's why i always talk about like counter picks and stuff like who cares if i played the counter pick matchup a hundred times it doesn't really matter that <laughs> that's right there is why i'm supposed to be good against camille or what i like to do is when she jumps on me i land e and you can't can't miss it apparently you can if you suck <laughs> Beautiful. Works for me. Oh, really? B. It's alright. I got enough gold for my item. Let's go back and get it. Allowy, so strong. Yeah, like I said last time, or last game. This build, pretty good. Definitely gonna make me play Alawi again. I honestly stopped playing Alawi on my uh, my challenger grind. Switched mostly into Darius lately. Not that I'm gonna change away from that. I think Darius is very good and I like him a lot. But I definitely will pick up more Alawi again. I just didn't feel like I had a good build. I don't know, I was doing Divine Sunder and it felt like, I don't know. You don't really notice it. Divine Sunderer and Conqueror, because it just adds damage to your stuff. And it's like, all right, I already do a shitload of damage. I kind of like this build because it gets me like the utility and I feel like I have the damage already. I just need the utility. That's how I feel with Darius too. Like I have the damage. I just need Shrive Breaker to get to people. Bro, you don't want this at all. Like what? Could have ulted right there, but I really didn't expect him to stand there. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, I, I pressed one earlier because I was trying to pop my fucking potions, dude. I knew I was going to do it. I knew I was going to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. All right, tip. Tip number three. Don't do that. There you go. And now you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Your tower does not defend you, okay? I am a Lowey. Towers mean nothing. That's the thing with a Lowey. You can bait people under tower so hard. If you get the tentacle set up, this one's too far away. But normally you can get a one right here, right here, and then you walk up and you place one under tower. And when they TP back in, or even if they're like there already, if they get hit by your E, you can kill them under tower. Like, so easily. And people will get baited so often because they think that the tower is going to defend them. So they'll literally like walk into you, let you hit E for free, not realizing that you're just going to press R and kill them. All right, I am going for Sterix next, I believe. When he got really fed, sometimes he did death stance. But... I mean, there's some decent value there. I think I still want Sterix. Um, wow, I really wish I would have placed that pink ward that I've had for 25 minutes. All right. I even thought about it last time I ran back to lane. I was in base. I was like, damn, I had this pink ward in my inventory for a while. And then the other part of my brain was like, well, better keep holding it. <laughs> Come on, man. Place the damn thing. Spent 75 gold to get 30 gold back 20 minutes later. Boom. Buy high, sell low, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's start setting up. This is what you do in the mid game as Lowry. You just get in a lane and you establish dominance. We just kind of hope the team don't all die beforehand. Because <laughs> what I want to do is I want to pull multiple people to me. Because I want the 1v2. I want the 1v3 situations. Because that, you know, alleviates pressure for my teammates. It allows them to do more. It allows them to hopefully have a numbers advantage. You guys should not fight over the, over that. This is like a really good setup. Which it definitely does not appear to be. <laughs> All right. Tried it. Not a good timing. Ooh. I'll take that though. I get another tentacle spawned right up here. Always got to pay attention to your passive. Once it's almost up, that's when you want to start moving toward the next location. Oh, he didn't back up, bro. Bro, I am lighting this man up. This cannot be enjoyable. Got it. It's not a kill, but... It will annoy him. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we should've just given that up. It's all good. It's a North America thing. Inting for uh, dragons. First and second dragon just don't matter at all. They really don't. Like it's the boost that they all give is so small. It, it just doesn't matter. Like if you if your team's strong enough to fight for it, certainly do it. Come on now. Come on now. Come on and slam. And hey, welcome to the jam. My name is Alawi, and I'm stronger than a man. Ugh, look at her. Give me a flex. Give me a flex! Alright. She's humble. Respect it. I respect it. Okay. Uh, I might go tabby this game. Yeah. Again, I'm like 20 gold away, so I'm not gonna go 50 gold in debt. <laughs> or go like 20 gold in debt to spend 50. I'm just gonna wait like two seconds, not a big deal. Get my boot too. Cool, there we go. Uh, I wanna get in bot lane now. I mean, I'd like to have, have taken that, but bot lane has tier one tower available. So like mid game, team groups up. I play side lanes with teleport. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he was four and one, or four and oh right there. Ooh, get destroyed. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I want that 1v2 constantly. Because I drag them away and then my team can get uh, pressure on the map. They should just be really careful about, like, all this stuff right here is terrible. Like, they want to be extremely careful about pressuring anything. Unless I'm in position to respond, right? Like, I need... They have to basically wait for me to pull people. If people don't answer me, then they, they're just standing in the middle of the map waiting to get 5 against forward. 
which is literally what's happening. And even worse, so they started an objective. <laughs> this is the same thing that happened last game, bro. <laughs> My team just ran around the map and did the whole time. Just stop fighting over shit. Just like go sit under a fucking tower. This is nonsense. I'm gonna lose my mind again. Jesus. It's gotta chill. Sit there and wait, clear. The longer we can go without fighting, the better. That's that should literally be their goal: is to not fight. Bring them. Bring them. This is what I want, bro. Wait for them to send people to me. Then we win for free. That's all we gotta do. Because now look. They sent two to me. I killed both of them. And then I sent two more. Now you have a three against one in mid lane. Yeah. I think we'll take that. <laughs> Alright. Go Death Sands next. Get back in that bot lane. Now this dragon we can fight for. <sighs> he didn't do this last game? Yeah, because I couldn't even get into a side lane to pressure because you guys would all just die immediately. That's why I said the one time, I did get into that position one time and then like you said, yeah, I fucked up, I missed my E. That was when I was up here against the Fiora Wukong. If I killed them right there, that would have been like the same setup. Then they'd have to send more people and relieve pressure, but you gotta give me a little bit of an opportunity to do it. <laughs> like, stop dying the whole time. Just blow it down. Be patient. Wait for them to have to send people to cover me. And once they do that, then you can pressure. Then you can play aggressive. Because then you have numbers advantage. You know there's only three people. What's up, friend? What's up, my friend? Grab this. It's gonna be important because the drag's coming up. Shove another wave top. Or bot, rather. Team should all be over here. I'm really trying to get as many tentacles spawned up in this area as I can. The more tentacles I have, the better. More potential damage, obviously. This could be bad. I see enough people mid lane, I think. I say it could be bad because they could like jump on me, you know? No. Nah. I have a great setup right here. In terms of like how many tentacles I have around. I'm gonna try and inch up. Got him. Just being smart about it. I just keep hitting these. Decent. Just be up in here. Well, that was kind of dumb. I didn't try breaker fast enough. To, I, like, I had to literally think about it. If I ulted and then try breakered right away, it would have been good. Because I would have been in range to hit the W. That's really what's going on with this try breaker. It gets you into, first off, it slows, but also gets you into range. You gotta be careful. They're on the side here. Uh, Gwen doesn't have TP. I should go here and Gwen should go back. Yeah. Yeah, hey, fight this guy. Don't let him do that shit. Go ahead, you're good. There we go. My item in base too. Alright, someone should get the top farm. I'm probably just gonna back here actually. Because they're gonna back up for mid lane, so that puts a ton of pressure in the enemy jungle. They don't really want to be there for that. Oh, let's not do that. 
Again, same situation. I <laughs> just wait a tiny bit of gold. Let's do that. Speed. Uh, I'm gonna move mid lane for now. I'm gonna go split again, but a little nervous about this current situation. Oh, you're going crazy. Kobe, let's go. Oh. Uh, I can't really chase like that, guys. <laughs> I got hit E, that's about it. If he goes for this, we kill him. Yoink. Sweet. Oh, go right down mid. This guy's got like no mana and this other dude's on the side here. Got it. This is so big. I just took so much control in this area. Yeah, if I just hit every single one of my abilities. <laughs> they're so screwed, I have like 8,000 tentacles around. Too bad I'm gonna run Oom before I do enough. Ah, that's so bad. Hit tower here. Hit tower, hit tower. That no anything. <laughs> we should bail. I don't have any mana. I actually killed him. <laughs> All right. I hit him with E, and I had like a million clones or a million tentacles around. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go here next, bro. This is so funny. Every single time I back, I'm 20 gold away from my item. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think go get in the bot lane. Team sets up around mid again because Dragon's coming up. So everybody wants to be there. I'm going to go down here. Sweet. Oh, yeah, let me get that shit, bro. I keep going oom. Um. Oh, yeah, because I'm used to playing with double mana. <laughs> I'm used to playing with mana flow, uh, mana flow band and presence of mind. I've been wondering why I felt like I, I keep going oom. Um. That was the only fight where it was actually pretty detrimental because I could have done a lot there if I had actual mana, but... And I should have done this before I used my ult. I could have made it a little bit better placement. This and this. Get the wave shoved out. You don't want to be up there. It's like too late, bro. You have 15 seconds to get down there. I'm gonna have to just play. Ooh, real spicy. Do it. Oh, I see a decent amount of people. Beautiful hit, man. That's huge. Again, it's all about getting as many tentacles spawned up as we can. So anytime we hit that, obviously it's super important. More tentacles equal more power. Get another one right here. Now this guy's sitting in top lane, but we honestly don't give a shit. We'll just do dragon. And then take an advantage in mid lane, because we have two people covering me. If anything, Gwen maybe goes back. Because we're not pushing mid hard enough at all. I mean, they're all like AFK right now. It's kind of... Trying to find it. It's pretty disappointing what's going on right now, but whatever. <laughs> I can't I can't micro everybody's characters for them. This is why in these games I like to just group up and try and carry like that. Because when you try and do it through split pushing, it re requires other people like moving in certain ways. And it's like like the time is important. Like you can't do it slowly. Like, tempo matters. There we 
go. Bro, we should be thinking about this whole area. Get wards all up in their blue side jungle. And I just keep pushing. Ooh, are they making a pick? Man, I still have TP. It's the only thing with, tele with teleport and allow you, it's your TP is not amazing. It's better with this build because we have uh, a lot of slows. How did I miss that again, bro? What the fuck? Insane. We just don't do anything. Like, what's everybody doing? Like, this is so. Like, why are we here? We need to like push waves, pressure things. I don't understand. This setup right here is like perfect. All the tentacles around. Get like triple slams and shit. Yoink. Literally could not draw it up any better. <laughs> it's so perfect. Tried for it. I have two people covering me. Can we please do something on the map? I feel like I spent this whole game complaining, but my bad. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'll be okay. Mind is exploding, bro. I'm fighting three people and we're getting a scuttle crab. Like, <sighs> I just. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, <sa. laughs> God damn. All right. Um. I mean, I think Thornmail is just gonna be the way to go. I'm just going to walk mid and hold people's hands, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It sucks. It's hard to it's hard to push against this guy without like Baron or something, but it's all right. I'll just I'll figure it out. I'm going to get blue first so I can spam spells. Noise. Guys just got to learn to play to your win conditions. A lot of you like still think, like, no offense, but none of you matter right now. Like I'm so fed, it's all about me. So just focus around me, play around me. I was waiting for him to do that. Ooh. Oh, whoops, trapped it. Waiting for him to turn and press R, because then she stops moving, so then I can hit my uh, Q. And even though I'm getting knocked up or whatever, I still hit my Q, so it doesn't matter. Mistake, mistake. <laughs> Can I get a ward here? This is okay. Jacob gets drag. I'll grab this. Move to the mid lane. God damn, I'm hitting those. that oh my god dude I'm so bad it wasn't off CD yet and I was trying to use it uh Ooh. just guessing 
It's only a seven second cooldown, it's not a big deal. If we miss, we just have to back up, play a little safe. <laughs> Where was that one going? Waiting for him to jump. And I'm gonna dash away with my stride breaker. Ooh. Oh, that was dumb. Come, here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> he ignited me. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Ooh, nice heal. Trying to help. Hit it. Oh, I don't have anything around. GA, Pog? I'm gonna get trapped up. Slap! Slap! Did he kill me? You have. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Because I was gonna say, the only way to get it to cleanse is if you actually kill the person. So he doesn't, he's not the vessel anymore if he kills uh, me. That's how it works. But if somebody else got the kill right there, he would have gotten slammed again here. It, we could have had a very cool play because what could have happened, right, is the clone dies, this guy becomes the vessel, and then nearby tentacles slam him, the Camille. I, I say him and her for the, everything that's wrong. I don't know, man. The person played Camille. And then uh, these two tentacles that were over here would slam at Camille, potentially hitting all the other people that were like one HP. Could have been cool. Could have been cool. Let me grab this. Juicy. Oh, baby. Straight up, the team just like stands around me will win the game. I don't know. It's, I feel 1v9 at all times. Let's roll. Uh, I mean, we should straight up just walk mid as a team and get this. I don't know. Is it just me? This game's felt like so slow. It's like 33 minutes. I feel like we're just getting out of lane phase. <laughs> you know, full build. Once I catch this guy, Dunzo. That's not gonna save you. What a grab, bro. What a grab. <laughs> okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run through your whole team. Woo. Sweet. Finish that shit, dude. Why are you being afraid? Beautiful. Let's back out. Nope. Nope. This is all dumb now. This is all dumb. Everybody leave. If you're staying, you're stupid. Back the fuck up. We took the two inhibitors. What's left to get? Back up. Dragon's up in 30. Baron's already available. Spend your gold. Chop, chop. Might get rid of this and just go grab one of these real quick. Seems fine. I'm not gonna get value out of the GA for the next fight if it's down for two more minutes. Yeah, you can get more kills, true. I mean... <laughs> or you can try and win the game. <laughs> All right. I think we just go bot here. I don't think we need Baron. Oh. That works. Uh, trying to get over there. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, that kind of sucks. Lol. 
imagine. <laughs> No, smart play, dude. A smart play. I hit the E, but he Gwen W'd it. Ugh. God, you guys piss me off so much. <laughs> oh, man. We have two supers, we get this shit, I spam ping this lane, what do we do? We run into the jungle and team fight randomly and die. Like <laughs> Oh my god. It's fine. We got stuff here. Um Yeah, I think we just go sit at Baron. <laughs> Oof. Oh baby. Yeah, when he stole Gwen W, that was really good. Stop my E. If I hit E on this corner when they're trying to come around, I can do a lot more. Also, I screwed up my Strive Breaker going for uh, Caitlyn. Didn't end up mattering because she flashed anyways, but could have mattered. It could have mattered. Hello? Are you AFK? Oh, this looks good. I mean, this guy is literally in bot lane, so I think we should probably just try and do this. All right. Should have enough damage to get it before they get here. I'm going to go run interference. Bye. Here. Hit the slow. Hit the slow. I'm gonna have Stride Breaker in a second. In this situation, whenever you hit, yeah, see how I'm not worrying about this? I just go right for the champion because they have to run out of the circle and try and get away from me. Ooh, nice. I went for it. Got that hit. We should be able to end here. Baron buff. Whew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Allow is ridiculous. This build's very good. I'll definitely end up playing this. My ranked grind. Holy moly, boys. Come on. <laughs> oh, this game. All right, GG squad. Just too slow, man. You guys pick up the tempo there. You gotta play to your win conditions. Two times in a row. <laughs> All right, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.